I go to the movies. Yeah. And uh, this movie, it is the, the foreign movie. And it is the movie with the words at the bottom. And it was the movie I saw at the Rag Tag Cinema. And they're doing this thing where they're showing all kinds of movies from this one guy. He is a director. And it's a, a series it's called something like, and I'm going to say it wrong because I don't know how to speak that language. But it's a passport to the, the Tudu Sombre Amna Devar or something. I'll put up the little poster. But, uh, yeah, but this movie that I saw this time, it was called, um, The Woman is on the Verge of Having a Nervousness Breakdown, if you can even believe it. And, uh, so I, th I thought the movie was pretty cool. It was, uh, <laughs> I guess, you know, you gotta talk about the, the director... And his, he's very artsy, you know. He's got very specific things he does with the camera and stuff like that. I found it all to be very interesting, what he was doing. And the, <laughs> well, the movie, it's got, it's got the wacky characters. So, <laughs> it's a, it's kind of a weird movie. It's really old, so there's going to be all kinds of spoilers in this video. That sort of thing. But, so, you got the, the lady, right? And she is the famous actress. And she is in love with the famous man. And, but, they're not going to be any together anymore. Oh, no! So, as you do, you make some, some spaghetti sauce, and you put a bunch of pills in it, and you start drinking it. Uh, and you light your bed on fire. For some reason, she has a bunch of ducks and chickens on her porch. On her, well, it's not a porch. She lives like in like a, a fancy apartment, but it's like out on the deck. On not the deck. Out on what do they call that? Balcony, something. <laughs> uh. So there's this whole thing about how she keeps wanting this guy to call her back, but. He never, he never does, but when he does, she, he only gets the answering machine. Oh! The times before cell phones. This movie would not work in the modern days with the cell phones. <laughs> but she does a bunch of weird sneaking around and stuff like that. And I guess she knows that he's married already. Oh! The scandal of it all. You know? So she goes and... She meets the weird cab driver man. He's kind of a funny character. He's got the weird cab. It's all decorated and he's got funny hair. <laughs> and she, there's a lot of hiding in telephone booths in this movie too. That's weird. Because you can see right in there. <laughs> but she finds out the guy has a son or whatever. And then... When you know it, she has a friend who keeps trying to get a hold of her, and she's like, no way, I'm busy with my own weird stuff going on. <laughs> but then her friend shows up. It turns out that she's involved with some terrorists or something, and that's pretty crazy. <laughs> so, but then the son of the guy and his fiance show up. Let me tell you, this lady, she has a face. That's all I'll say. <laughs> ah. and this and that and all that leads to other she accidentally drinks the the spaghetti sauce with the pills and she falls asleep for a long time <laughs> and there's all this thing about how she keeps breaking the phone and then she has to fix it again and she tries to go to a lawyer to help her friend but the lawyer says no and she gets a slap for her troubles. What? That seems to lift her mood a little bit, you know? But what did you know later on? Turns out that the guy, the famous guy, 
who he's cheating on his wife already, and now he's leaving this other famous actress. He's running off with the lawyer lady. Of all the things, you never would have saw it coming. <laughs> yeah, you know, just all sorts of crazy stuff happens. And then the cops show up to find out about this terrorist situation. But wouldn't you know it, you just gotta, you just gotta drug all the police officers and the phone repairman who just shows up. You have to drug them all with the spaghetti sauce, with the pills. <laughs> and then the, the, the wife of the famous guy, she turns out to be a crazy person and she's gonna shoot everybody. She's decided she wants to shoot all the people. And she uh, kidnaps a man on a motorcycle. And then that lady and the girlfriend of the motorcycle man, they get into that same cab. He keeps coming back. It's like he's just circling the block all the time just so he can run into this person. And there's a high-speed chase with gunfire. But it all came off like funnier than you would think. And then... And then they make it to the airport, and the main character lady, she saves the, the, the guy's life by pushing a baggage cart into his crazy wife. And he's very thankful, but then he still goes off with the lawyer lady. And then the main character lady goes back home, and that, that original girl with the face, she finally wakes up, and they talk about how she's a virgin, and then the credits happen and the movie's over. <laughs> so, overall, I found the movie pretty entertaining. I thought it was interesting. It was a little weird, you know? I like a lot of the visuals that were going on. I thought it was funny. I skipped over a lot in my recap, but that's the stuff that jumped in my mind. But, uh, I think it's a pretty good movie. It's artsy. It's entertaining. So, yeah. But, you know, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter. And your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it. But we can't seem to stop. So, those are my thoughts and opinions. Thrown on top of the pile. Of all the other thoughts and opinions. Soon to be buried. By all the thoughts and opinions that come after mine. So. For what it's worth. I thought the movie was pretty good. So. Yeah. The, what was it called again? The, the woman on the verge of the nervous breakdown. I had a good time seeing it. I thought it was pretty interesting. 